Section 3, Tie Jiangping Treaty does not supersede congressional will. A foundational conclusion held by U.S. Supreme Court. For the U.S. is an independent republic. Nothing grants more power and validity to the republic than to be ruled by consent of the governed within this land. Therefore, the republic is neither dependent nor subordinate to any permission or requisites imposed by foreign power. The current Congress of any era embodied the latest sovereign will of the people, or consent of the governed. If one Congress agreed to an international treaty, then a succeeding future Congress can unilaterally renege on the treaty or abolish it outright. In other words, Treaties are not some mortally unapproachable divine instrument. Treaties are mere contracts between nations, kingdoms, principalities, etc. And treaties, by its own physical embodiment, are made to be broken. Otherwise, there would be no need for a treaty, since a simple handshake or a head nod between nation states would suffice. If a treaty cannot be unilaterally broken by the U.S., then it means either the U.S. is subordinate to the foreign power listed in the treaty, or that the prior Congress of years, decades, eons past, which ratified the treaty, commands more sovereign power than the current Congress which is absolutely nonsensical proposition. Therefore, concerning international treaty obligations, the High Court will not intervene and absolve itself of any jurisdiction in this matter between the national government of the United States and the foreign government in question.